Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Skyler. So, uh, first of all, a heads up. Um, we're not gonna do too much in this episode, and I'll explain why in a second. But this episode is mainly just laying out some basic framework, and I mostly just want to talk about future plans that I have and explain some things. So, uh, first of all, one of the things you might have noticed is that frame rate has dropped significantly but at the same time the quality has increased so as it turns out my game last episode was set to uh, a lower quality 1440 or something uh however this game this episode, i changed the quality to higher and the frame rate dropped to about eight instead of around maybe 15 now that's not the best, but I want to hear from you guys. Would you prefer frame rate over quality or quality over frame rate? Because I'm I'm fine with either or. However, I do prefer frame rate. So uh, let me know. Let me know. So, anyways, uh, basically what this episode was planned, um, it was supposed to be me laying down the the main road framework um, and placing down some buildings but after I placed down Union Station which is it's 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 gonna be a whole project surrounding it I think there's gonna be a whole project um, I, I got carried away with Union Station actually and uh, so that takes up a good chunk of the episode basically my goal with Union Station was just to create some connections and I did I created a rail yard a small one but it's not gonna be the main one uh, it took me a while it did but I think it's fine so uh, anyways the reason I didn't do what I planned was first of all what I just said about Union Station second of all when I did start laying down the, the roads I realized some of the buildings that I wanted to subscribe to, I wasn't subscribed to. Which is unfortunate, but who knows. Uh, so yeah, so now let's talk about future things that I have for Edbrook while this is playing in the background. Uh, Edbrook is supposed to be like a modern kind of city. Uh, not exactly futuristic, but modern. Uh, I, I want some nice, sleek buildings. Uh, I have this plan for an industrial park using um, the office assets that you may, might have seen on the workshop. There there was a, like Office 3A, 3B, 4A, 1A, like th those offices. I think they look super cool, and I can't wait to use them. Um... Behind Union Station, there's actually going to be another, I don't know what we would call it, a terminal, I guess, platform. Um, it's going to be exclusive for the airport, which I'm not sure where I'm going to put yet, but we'll figure that out. Uh, it's going to be like UP Express, Union Pearson Express. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's basically express between uh, Union Station and uh, Toronto Pearson Airport. Um, it's if the name wasn't clear enough already but uh i think i think they uh revo planned for it to be metro overhaul like for uh, above ground metro but we like everybody just kind of wanted it to be railroad so it is a railroad and i'm fine with that uh so the suburbs i guess uh, there's this little, uh, if you look on the workshop of the, the map, there's a, a little kind of um, incomplete square uh, that the highways form. And in there, that's kind of going to be uh, where the suburbs are. And they're going to branch out more, but that's where like the, uh, the actual main suburban area is going to be. At least that's what I have in my plans. And Keep in mind that all everything I'm saying right now, it's, it is just plans, it's not final. 
um, the buildings that I placed down in this episode, they're not final either. They're kind of just placeholders. Uh, I think that's pretty much all we really need to cover. There's nothing really else. This is a fairly short episode, and I don't have much to say, to be honest. Uh, but I, I do have to uh, say one thing, and that is that uh, if Revo is watching this, the creator of Union, the Union Station asset, great job. I, I've already said this many times on Simtropolis, but this is it's honestly a great asset. I was talking to my dad the other day, and uh, he said how much he uh, kind of doesn't enjoy Union Station. Because they were going always with the renovation, and then in the mornings it would always be like this gray, kind of foggy kind of weather, and it was rainy, and it was very unpleasant. So, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm trying to turn that around with the whole modern and sleek city that's going to be surrounding it. And, and that's one of the things why I chose uh, Union Station, because it's, it's kind of going to be like a contrast. Instead of being this modern station uh like the whole city it's gonna be like this piece of history which i i think that's kind of cool the contrast um yeah and another reason of course is because of the the amount of platforms which the more platforms i guess the better um it's good to have more international trains come or intercity call it and uh, speaking of which, um, I heard some talk about possibly having um, in the next main expansion to City Skylines, um, maybe being able to kind of like connect multiple cities. I don't know how that's going to work, but I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, oh yeah, another thing that I forgot to mention is that behind Union Station, uh, b there's going to be a big passenger yard and then there's also going to be um like a roundhouse and a a locomotive storage shed i think I pronounce uh, her name avania avania she's working on this whole kind of roundhouse collection which i, I think will fit into here well because the station's not exactly a modern looking station and either are the, the roundhouses so that would be nice um i'm not sure what i want because there's going to be a freight uh really or two of course um i already have an idea as to where it's going to be near the cargo harbor um and i i think we'll have uh another locomotive shed over there I think I'm getting ahead of myself, though. This is... <laughs> I shouldn't really be saying all these things right now. Because they're not final. Who knows? Uh, yeah. And then right now, I'm starting to lay down the streets. And I was uh, connecting the highway to the main street. Uh, the streets, speaking of which, I'm, I'm not sure of what I'm going to do. I, I might change them. Uh, but I might not, because I kind of like how they turned out. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Next episode, probably. Um, and I think, I think I've established a sort of, uh, schedule, I guess. I'm gonna try to upload, uh, Saturday, maybe Sunday, sometime. Friday, even. Like, in those days, you can expect me to upload. Because I really don't have a schedule, and you know, I, I, I'm trying out new things, so. Oh yeah, and then the tram network. So, this would work, except that, I don't know why the developers chose to do this, but the tram rails connect to every single track rail. So, if you have... Uh, I explain this like with train tracks if you have uh, a straight piece of track and then one coming in from the side it has to angle slowly towards that piece of track 
and it will only connect into that direction. Now with the tram tracks, you'd also have, if let's say uh, the track is on the right, instead of just going forward and kind of merging, there's also an option for the trams to turn left, and it just, it expands the rails, and it looks really ugly and unrealistic, and I wish there was a way to bypass that. I guess not at the moment. But, uh, I guess we'll see, because the next update for Network Skins should be coming out fairly soon, and that'll allow for basically anything. So we'll see. And uh, yeah, we're actually nearing the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize for the lack of content. I promise we'll cover more in the next episode. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of uh, the next video I make. And uh, comment down below. Don't forget to say if you prefer um, frame rate over quality or quality over frame rate. Uh, because I would like to know. I, I want uh, I want your guys' experience to be as, as good as I can make. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.